everybody, this is Brian with Community Hope, and we are here at what we call a karst spring in Grand Vide, Haiti, the village that we live in, and this is the only fresh water source other than rainwater for our entire village. And so what we are exploring right now is well construction. However, when we dig deep into the ground surface, we find oftentimes that the water is brackish, meaning that it's partially salt water, partially fresh water. And the reason why that is is because the ocean is about 300 meters that way, no less than that, probably 200 meters directly that way. And the rocks that we have underneath the surface of the ground are all porous, so they combine. So this is a wonderful spring that we call a karst spring. And as you can see here, in the spring, there's a lot of bubbles kind of bubbling up here. We've got a lot of little bubbled areas, so the water just continues to come to the surface. There also are several hundred fresh fish species over there to the left that have found this to be their home. And in addition, we have a lot of friends that are visiting us right now. We've got two donkeys behind us over here and many, many, many cattle, livestock, because this is the fresh water source for the entire village. So. What we're going to try to do with this Community of Hope project in partnership with, with uh, Hands of Hope, we are hoping to construct this into a weir system. So we're going to try to put some, some masonry up here to capture the fresh water when it comes up and probably do like a three foot tall space by eight by eight. And then we're going to create a weir for all the livestock so they can drink. We do not disturb their need for water and we're going to create a trough system here for the livestock because as you can see we've got a lot of issues with the water being contaminated by livestock droppings and, and their remnants. We also over here we have a lot of people typically that love to come into this, into this spring and bathe. So we want to honor the culture and we want to make sure that they have that capacity. So the weir system, building it up, creating a pump system in it, where when it overflows, which it will very easily, it'll weir into this area for bathing, it'll weir into that area over there for, for the livestock to drink, and then we are going to pump water into the village from here over there with some very exciting proprietary uh, technology that uses kinetic energy for pumping and we're going to pump it over to a basin, a, a 15,000 gallon basin over in the village of Grandvide so that people can come, we'll filter that water and then people will actually have drinkable water. Because right now we do not have a solid drinkable water source. People get very sick because of the brackish salty water and it's a problem. And so as I think I've stated before but we live in this area of Western Laganov actually has the least amount of fresh water of any populated place in the entire world. And so you can see my buddies right here who are all coming to get water too. So what we're gonna do is make sure that we keep the water pure for drinking for humans. We also make sure that the livestock who are here with us right now can continue to drink. And then the people culturally who've used this well for many years will be able to continue to to bait. Just like my buddy Donkey over here, you know, he, he too wants to get in and drink some water. So this is, a, is an exciting project and we really, really thank Hands of Hope for partnering with us financially to make this a reality because this is literally going to transform our village and multiple villages around us with clean, sustainable drinking water. So thank you so much for tuning in and that's, that's uh, what this project is all about. God bless you.